Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, we don't really have the best filming setup today. Um, we're in the process of packing and moving, so like things are everywhere. We have these totes everywhere. And, but you already know that by now. Hopefully by the time you are seeing this video, um, we're actually moved in. Also, sorry about the glare in my glasses. I did my makeup and my eyeliner is a bit much, so we're using the glasses to kind of cover that up. <laughs> um, so today I am going to be sharing with you guys my 12 week, or not, not 12 weeks. I'm definitely not 12 weeks yet. I wish. Um, but my nine week update. Um, so I don't really have anything written down for this one. Um, but over the past few weeks, the past few weeks, so um, when I was like five to seven weeks, I was very nauseous and uh, about five to seven weeks, I was incredibly nauseous, um, a lot more nauseous I thought compared to when I was pregnant with Asher and um, the past couple weeks that's kind of led up a lot which is really nice. Um, I have had back pain, cramps. Um, headaches they're a bit off and on as well but when I have them they're incredibly bad and almost every single evening I have one this bin's gonna drive me crazy eh? hmm. um and so there's that um the pregnancy brain is definitely already in full effect um, I'm definitely bloating a lot more this time. I feel like a lot of the symptoms I'm feeling this time around are coming quicker than I, um, they did with Asher. And that might just be because it's my second and they are so close in age, like time span. But, um, so yeah, I'm a lot more bloated for only being nine weeks. Like, I'll insert a picture of my belly at nine or ten weeks here and then obviously everything is not cooperating with me today okay I don't even remember what I was saying and then obviously I'll do a belly shot at the end of this video for you to see where I'm at as of nine weeks um let's see what other symptoms? Back pain, really. Um, here late, actually, whenever I was having a lot of the nausea, I was very, very fatigued. Um, it was like almost really hard to do anything because I was so tired all the time and didn't feel good too. So I can already tell I'm getting a little bit more out of breath. Like things are starting to take more out of me. Um, but definitely the back pain and um, headaches are the biggest things right now. And then since I'm bloating so much already, there are some jeans and things that I already can't fit into, which kind of sucks. Um, it's just really uncomfortable. I'm halfway debating on getting one of the belly bands since it's already so early on. <laughs> um, I do have some maternity jeans, but I think they're still a little bit too big. Uh, I might be able to like try and pull them off but as of right now I'm kind of like I have a couple pairs of jeans that do fit and I'm just leaning more towards leggings <laughs> um what else hmm today we have our second doctor's appointment um I am not quite sure if we'll hear the heartbeat, but I will like vlog along going. So you'll see that, that too at the end of this video. And um, so we may hear the heartbeat. If not, then it won't be included. But I'm hoping that if we do, I'm able to record it because Alex isn't going to be able to come today anyways. And I would want him to hear it too. But since... I'm only like nine weeks and three or four days. I think three, 
two days nine weeks and two days um they may not be able to they might try though i'm just not quite sure um but we will be scheduling our ultrasound today so i'm super pumped about that um i turn 12 weeks on february 1st so we will see when we do that and honestly there really isn't a whole lot um else going on um it's definitely just weird to see my body changing so quickly this time around. Um, but I definitely have noticed that um, since we have so many things going on between like moving and the holidays and um, just taking care of Asher in general, like time goes by quicker with just taking care of Ash. But this pregnancy, like there are times where I definitely forget that I am pregnant and that was never a thing with Asher. And I was like so excited to tell people with Asher that I was pregnant, but this time I just don't feel the need to like tell everybody like, like right this second. Um, like it's kind of sitting well with just, you know, who we know that knows, you know, I, I don't know. I just don't feel the need to tell the entire world as much. Um, I'm very content with just like family knowing right now. And so, yeah. That was something that's very different um, compared to when I was pregnant with Asher, but it seems like things are going a lot faster, which is nice and also not the best. Um, I'm just trying to be more intentional on a day-to-day -day basis to really take in like how appreciative I am and just like take some time out of the day to like recognize you know this baby and um basically just that um so um yeah just have to be a bit more intentional with my time um I mean that's kind of with everything though when having a one-year-old <laughs> um because otherwise you can be busy and absorbed by everything else all day long but Regarding all of that, things are going so great. I feel so incredibly blessed for things to be going so well this so far. Um, and I'm just really hoping that um, we hear some good news today, potentially the heartbeat. Um, oh, another thing that I, I've noticed, I have already had like a an increased appetite this time. Last time with Asher, especially the first trimester, I didn't really have much of an appetite because of the nausea, but like I already feel like how I felt when I was about the end of the second trimester, third trimester with Asher, I just wanted to eat everything all the time, so many more cravings, and that's where I'm at now already, and I'm like, oh gosh, <laughs> like either this baby's gonna be a big one or I'm just gonna be big. <laughs> um, so I'm definitely trying to not indulge too much because it's I would eat all day long if I could I definitely like every couple hours I am hungry again so I'm trying to keep the snacks on the healthier side and all of those things since that is already a thing um, I definitely want to stay within a healthy weight gain range this time I, I did with Asher I think I only gained like about 40 pounds I'm not quite sure I think I started out at like 115 and I think at my last doctor's appointment I was maybe like almost 150 so maybe like 45 pounds I'm not quite sure that wouldn't be 45 pounds that would be like 35 pounds right am I mathing correctly I don't know my brain does not work the same that is for sure this baby is taking it all from me I'm gonna be so dumb by the end of this pregnancy I'm sure <laughs> um, but yeah so things are going well I'm super grateful like feel incredibly blessed and um, yeah just hoping that things keep on going well. Um, I'm gonna try this time to be a lot better with updates than I was with Asher. I didn't really do a, a ton of pregnancy updates, but I really wanna keep more track this time around. 
um, video wise. So yeah, hopefully, you know, that all goes well. Um, yeah, I am just like reiterating the same things now. So I am just going to give you guys a belly shot and then we'll get on into the vlog. Ugh. All right, so I haven't really ate a whole lot yet today. I just had like a breakfast sandwich and so yeah. But if you look at pictures from when the lighting is like super duper bad. From when I was this far, or yeah, this far along with Asher, I was definitely not as bulgy. <laughs> um, I did not have much of a belly yet. Um, I honestly, especially by the end of the day when I am bloated, am looking about like how I looked with Asher at 13 weeks. So I'm thinking I'm going to be showing quite a bit sooner this time around but yeah we'll just um we'll just see how that goes um thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoy the vlog part of this video and i will see you in the next video bye hey guys welcome to the vlog um so i'm getting ready to go to my doctor's appointment right now typically asher would not be coming with me but our day was a little funky so he's gonna have to come with me um, I'm looking for his other slipper right now and I feel really bad too because I'm gonna have to wake him up from his nap because our day has been a bit funky um, so yeah I also already have to pee but I know that if I go I won't be able to go when I get to the doctor so we're just gonna try to push through that um, luckily my new doctor's office is pretty close to where I live so it's only about 10 15 minute drive hopefully the wait is just not too terribly long um i just hope asher isn't too grumpy because he's gonna be tired um but i think i'm gonna go ahead and take stuff to the car and get the car started um just just hoping like, I'm kind of nervous because um, I've never taken Asher to a doctor's appointment with me or anything like that, especially with him having a fairly short nap. I'm just hoping things go okay and it's not stressful, like, um, <laughs> yeah, hopefully, oh man, I just remembered they're, they're doing a pap today. Hopefully Asher just is an incredible boy and plays. I'm gonna grab him a toy actually. Actually, he has Scout. Hopefully he just sits in the chair for me or on the floor or something. All right, let's wake this boy up and hopefully he's not a grump. Um, I'm just a bit nervous. so I never got to fully f um, fill you guys in um, after my appointment today um, so I wasn't able to record um, mainly because well I there was a lot going on at this appointment and so with Asher and just me it was not easy to film so um, I definitely Um, think that, I don't even know what I was going to say. I'm sorry. I have so much to do right now. <laughs> um, so basically a lot happened at the appointment and it was kind of difficult to keep Asher happy. He was pretty upset. Um, and, but anyways, so my doctor said that she would try the Doppler but since it is so early, um, that, you know, we may not find it. And Asher was getting upset when she was trying to find the heartbeat. So 
Um, she didn't really have a whole lot of time to look for it, but she also had a little handheld like ultrasound machine. Um, it kind of looked like a Doppler. It was about the same size. And um, yeah, so she pulled up basically the ultrasound of the baby. And so I got to see the baby and I got to see the heartbeat, which was awesome. I wasn't expecting that at all. And I was so happy, like, and so reassured. Um, I did just feel bad that Alex didn't get to um, come and experience it. But tomorrow I am going to be calling and scheduling our ultrasound. So um, yeah, that'll be the next um, update that I film. And also um, I'm going to try to film that appointment. Alex should be coming. So he could probably try to film it for me. Um, but we will also have to like check with our technician and everything that it is, uh, that it is okay for us to um, film it. But we are also planning, I, I would really like to um, get it on DVD. We did that with Asher's 20 week ultrasound. But um, so I'm going to see if we can do that. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. I'm home now. Um, and I filmed another video which is going to be all before this. It is uh, unboxing my Young Living Starter Kit. So if you're interested in essential oils and you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below and also in this iCard up here. And so yeah, check that out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching today and I hope you enjoyed. See ya.